I almost got to research marketing so we can generate hype for these games. It costs 40 research points, which you can afford. 50,000 credits, which you can afford. We'll go for it. Today, the new game platform Vena Gear by Vena has been released. Who is my target audience for Blips and Beeps? Did I fuck that up and put Mature again? I don't recall. Hopefully I did E for everyone. I think I did E for everyone. I think that's right. We've researched marketing. It's expensive to do, but really helps out. You can access marketing options in the action menu, but only while a game is in development. All right. And as far as this goes, can't do much there. Um, research. I think we got to go new topics here. Business? I'm on werewolf, though. I'm thinking researching werewolf could be neat. Make a werewolf game. I'm a little upset that that game didn't go very well in the game link, but I can't really complain too much because it was a flop in its very foundation. Text-based and music don't go well together. I successfully researched a new topic. Werewolf. Does that unlock anything new for me? Research. Dance. Oh my gosh. Let's go racing. Let's get a... Let's get a good solid racing game in. Why not? And then I'll research the if I can afford it. I don't know if I know I don't know if I have enough research points for it, but I'd like to research the uh the gamepad. Two months G64 will be taken off the market. Oh my god, it's on its downfall. But I only made a game or two for it. Successfully researched racing. New research available. Steering wheel, that's actually better than the gamepad. Can I do it? Steering wheel 10, I can. Oh my god, I can. Okay, let's do it. Steering wheel. We are going to make a revolutionary, beautiful, amazing, graphically enhanced racing game for the PC using a steering wheel. Amazing, right? I know. It's fantastic. Check this out. It's going to be great. Successful research the steering wheel. We have a first engine part. I need to create a new engine, which includes it. I need the engine to be able to support the steering wheel. Fair enough. Cost $130,000. Holy crap. Okay. ITV 1. Point, I guess 1.1. 1. 1. Support for a steering wheel isn't very amazing at all. So we'll go for that. IT version 1.1 1. 1 with steering wheel support. Hopefully we get some research points out of this a little bit because I have none. Spending all of our money to stay ahead. We're being incredibly aggressive here. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Govador, the creator of the popular G64, hath filed for bankruptcy. Govador failed to introduce a higher-priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market later this month. Rest in peace, you shitty console thing. Well, it's actually not really a console. I mean, it was kind of just the PC competitor. I mean, I'm thinking it's Commodore 64, right? I'm thinking. I never had one. I'm too young for that. G64 is no longer supported. I released one game to the platform and did a total of 101.7 thousand. Ah, those were the days. Oh well, moving on. Come on, game engine. We're in the red just for a monthly cost. I gotta do some contract work. There should be some new ones up there by now. Speaking of save game, can I, uh, let's save. There we go. Almost done. Got it. New game engine ITV 1.1 is now complete. Yay. Let's look for some contract work so that I can actually afford to build something. Uh, sprite sheet software again, 8, 12, 26, 3, 21, three weeks though. Uh, five weeks for that one. Hey, I can do that in five weeks. Let's go for it. 28,000, five weeks, 20 design, six technology. Let's do it. Technology polishing that off real quick. Design steadily, steadily. Oh my gosh. Go design, go design, go design. Running out of time. It's going to be like another late night, uh, up all night type thing. Getting it submitted just before the deadline. Ah, uh, so close. We got it. Oh, so close. We'll transfer 28,000 to the account. Nice job, guy. No, not 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 another game engine. More contract work. 812 in three weeks. Three weeks. I think we can probably do this one. Pays 23,000, pays 24,000. Let's go for the sprite sheet software. Three weeks, eight and 12. 
It's okay. We're good at cutting edge technology. Technology is what we do. Uh oh. <laughs> maybe maybe it maybe it's not what we do. Oh my god, go, 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 no! Oh my god, it was just barely too big of a job for me. Penalty of 10k. Ouch. Okay, we're losing we're losing a lot of money. We gotta make a cheapy game here. Uh, pick game engine. Yeah. To the PC. Oh my god, wait, what? 30% are using the game link. 22% market share on the Vena gear. PC's only 16%. Really? Uh, all right, don't worry, PC. We're going to revitalize this. Pick topic, racing. Pick genre, simulation. For the PC, using the steering wheel. For everyone. Race. Race. There we go. Race. Yeah. Uh, good graphics. We're pumping everything we've got into this. Hinging our success on a game again. We're in the red. We're in the red very much. Gameplay and engine. Yeah. Steering quests a little bit, I guess. Maybe. Steering wheel. Yes. Linear story. Yeah, I guess we should. Yeah. I guess we kind of have to now. I don't think I can. Oh, yeah, I can disable it. All right. We'll go with it. Oh, my God, the cash. Serious financial difficulties. Company is about to go bankrupt. They'll give me 95000 which should move me out of the danger zone. But I have to commit just under 200000 by month six of year six. Let's go for it. I got to get a success out of here. I got to get out of this thing so I can start hiring people moving at such a dreadfully slow pace. Race, racing simulation, level design dialogues, AI has got to be included. It's a racing game. Dialogue, not so much. Level design, yeah, let's get some cool like Hot Wheels like levels. Oh, it'd be cool if you could do a level editor. I think you can research that later on. Really make like a Hot Wheels game. Those are fun. Mono sound, 2D graphics version 2. World design, sure. Graphics, yeah. Graphics and sound are going to be the, the big ones here. Of course. Really bringing that steering wheel into the PC market. Oh, yeah. The immersion of a console game, but on the PC. Oh, look at that. We're getting more design and tech points. Any more? All right, that's about it. Okay, 20 design, 18 technology, 40 research points. I think this is a groundbreaking game. New records in both categories for us. New topic, new combo, great combo. Almost leveled up the engine. Dialogues just barely leveled up. Level design leveled up. Artificial intelligence almost leveled up. World design almost leveled up. Graphics still slowly climbing. It's level three already though. Sound just at level three. And I'm a level three person now. That's pretty awesome. Better dialogues, level editor. Oh, there's a level editor. Ah, oh, man. Okay. I was just talking about that. First reviews for race came in. Oh boy, here we go. Big and big and big and I see a lot of 10. I see a lot of 10. A masterpiece by the haters, Star Games. A 10, best of its kind by Informed Gamer. Oh my God. Straight 10s? Oh, you fuckers, Game Hero. One of the best. And a nine, almost perfect from all games. That's pretty dang good. I'll take those reviews. This should have some serious bang. Oh my god, the units. Oh my god, the units. 127,000 in the first week. Holy fucking A. Race has achieved a company's sales record with over 100,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Jormungandr games. Wow. Holy crap, 890,000 in just the first week. 400,000 in the second week. We, we have over a million. We, we've won. We've beaten the game. I could just retire now. I have over a million. But we're going to move. Congratulations. You've made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then moving into a new office is the next step. I found the perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? Hells yeah. Of course. Kind of an idiot wouldn't do that. Come on, let's move up. Welcome to your new office. What a fucking awesome place. It's got a water cooler, a cheapy microwave thing. Oh, it's already got a little bit of a mess. Nice gaming console that doesn't actually exist yet. 
Uh, we'll just pretend it's a TES top loader. Just ignore the controllers. Oh my god, what an awesome thing. With beanbag chairs too. Nice touch. I had a bean... Well, I didn't have a beanbag chair. My oldest brother had a beanbag chair though. Once upon a time. That thing was awesome. I miss beanbag chairs. I'm gonna get one. Look at that. We got our logo too. Kind of a budget logo, but it's a, it's a logo nonetheless. And I love that I could actually include the umlaut on the O. I wasn't sure I'd be able to do alt codes, but I, I can. Oh, the office of Jormungandr Games. Welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. You may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. I haven't made it this far. Well, I haven't really played this much, but I've been watching videos on it, and the videos that I'm watching, this is as far as they got. Uh, I'm not sure they actually really even got to this point. Maybe. I don't know. To get started, close this message and then click on your character to bring up the training menu. Right. Train. I need staff management to, management to get uh, staff. Oh my gosh, look at this. Those are my current... Oh, my character sheet. Oh, I'm such a good person. Level 3, I'm awesome. Game dev gems make me think. Game design for pirates. Don't repeat yourself. Code incomplete. Let's go staff management. We'll see if we can pick up a uh, an underling. Oh my god, rank number one. We're rank number one. I just pointed at the screen and almost poked my monitor as if you could actually see it. According to our market research, the recently published game Race is a surprise hit with players. I kind of knew, let's be honest here. I mean, revolutionizing gaming, it's, it's kind of what we do. Developer Jormungandr Games is fairly new to the gaming industry. We've been around for five years. But we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it's still going strong. Jesus. Vivena has announced that they will release a new gaming console in two months. The Vena Oasis comes with a 16-bit graphics and sound, which promises a new kind of gaming experience. I think this is when Blast Processing was introduced. Yes? No? Blast Processing? I don't know. I'm too young for this. Vena said at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start. It will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to a more mature audiences. Good thing I know how to focus games to a mature audience. If we got enough money, I'm pretty sure we could, uh, we could do that. Well done, you successfully completed your management course, and you are now able to hire your very first underling. I mean employee. To get started, close this message and then click the fill position button, which is visible near the big desk. The big desk. Before you can hire somebody, you have to advertise the open position. Set an advertising budget and decide how you want to test your applicants. Okay. A high budget will increase the number of applicants and the different tests will help find people with the right balance of design and technology skills. We're focusing on technology here. So let's see here. Ah, no, no, we're not doing that. We will go for a 350000 budget, though. We'll spend a good bit of money on this. Hmm. Complex algorithms, I think, might be the one I'm going for. Because I'm looking for technology here. Yeah, we want people cutting edge. We want smart people, man. I want Stephen Hawking making games for me. That's where we're at right now. It seems that Jormungandr Games has recently moved into an office in a well-known technology park and is now searching for employees. The company, which is known for games such as Race and Blips and Beeps, has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. One of the many fans of Race commented, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office until now and that those games were created by only one person. I'm really looking forward to their future games. Yeah, we have 2.9 thousand fans now. Not bad, over 2 million race is still going eh, kind of strong. It's hit rank 2 now, but it's been 2 months. The search for the Yapu open position is complete. You can now review the list of applicants and hire someone for this position. Don't forget that you can always train your employees to improve their skills. Hasir Nibeli, 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 Nibeli. High technology. Holy crap technology. A Johnny Rome. Technology and design. Oh my gosh, is he level three? No, he's not. Okay. 
do we have a level three no no level three 286 technology um everybody's about 20 ish k per month so 380 technology 300 386 technology uh 206 speed 113 research i'm thinking hasir de belly is the way to go here welcome aboard sir famous hire someone famous oh really Congratulations on your first hire. New employees have to settle in before they become fully effective. When a character is not fully efficient, you can see an efficiency bar next to them. This bar will fill up slowly over time. It is usually a good idea to give your new staff a welcome training to get them up to speed quickly. This will maximize their efficiency way faster than normally. To do this, close this message and then click on the character to bring up the action menu. New research available medium games, so we're not making small time games anymore. We're making big ones. His efficiency is crap. Uh, train. Welcome training. Welcome aboard. Let me buy you a coffee. What am I doing? Can I train myself? If I want to create hit games and have world class team when training, then training is important. For best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different training options available. Some options are better to increase certain skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. It is useful to create, to have a mix of specialists and all-rounders in your team, but aim to have at least one design specialist and one technology specialist. We've got the technology specialist. Apparently he's famous at level two. Um, man, I don't know. Um, code incomplete sounds like a cool tech book i don't know can i actually train myself i don't know figured out race is now off the market it sold four hundred eighteen thousand units generating just under three million in sales <whistles> wow hey plus three technology yay boss i've discovered that some really dedicated fans of race have created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game they don't make any money with it and just seem to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisors strongly suggest that we shouldn't allow this to go on. What do you want to do? Well, I mean, they're not making any money off of it. They're doing it for fans, so it's a fan project. So fucking hey, let them be, dude. I don't give a fuck. They're not making money off of it. If they were to, I probably still wouldn't care. Go for it. If it turns out to be really good, I might hire you. How would you like that? Wouldn't that be cool? Today, the new game platform Vena Oasis by Vena has been released. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. I gotta get in on that. Hurry up with your training. Be efficient. Hi, I'm Denise Ride, the main developer of the Race fan game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. You are welcome. Yomringander Games is the best company in the world, and I'm glad I can be a part of the fan community. Damn right. I've gained 156 fans. Yay, smiley face. Haha, <laughs> yay. Yeah. 